Right. Where to start? Uh, we've been a bit quiet. Not many things. We've been fucking busy. But we're back. And a lot of things have changed and been done. And one of the big weird things that has changed is the fact that my name has changed quite a bit since the last I bothered to talk much about my life. Um, my name changed the last part of it because I got married, which is a very practical thing that happens. You can, you can like use each other's last names. Um, and that was a f fun bit of, of jumble because it wasn't actually my wife's last name at first, but we wanted to have that as a last name, so she took that as a last name, and then I married her and got that last name because England, and me being Danish and stuff like that, is quite complicated. But that worked out okay. So the last name, my last name is Oakmond. Um, why is it Oakmond? Because I like trees. It has a link into my family history back home in Denmark, and also both my wife and I, we like nature, and oaks in particular are a sturdy sort of branchy, leafy thing that grows outside. Uh, and Mund, Mund is from Mount, from Hill, so it's Oak Hill, uh, Ibia in Danish. Um, but also Mund in Danish, in turn, is mouth to speak, to communicate about. And I talk a lot about trees, as you might have noticed, a lot about nature and stuff like that. And it's one of my big things, this whole NGO project about rewilding and planting. And I just wanted to manifest it. So I really like the idea of that last name. And luckily, so did my wife. So here we are, a bit down the line. Um, and that's become my last name. I still have my old last name, it lingers, it sticks to me. Um, but we'll get to why I didn't want my last name, or my first name. It's a fun story, except it's really dumb and tragic, and it's an entire Netflix documentary movie thing. Anyways, first name used to be Peter, but I'm, I mean, I'm not particularly Christian, and you can't build a church on me. Um, this is tiny, and it won't last very long. The blow over in the wind outside. Um, so, I was baptised Peter Madsen. And neither of those names really ever resonated much with me. I don't feel like a Peter. I might feel like a Peter in Denmark, but everyone here calls me Peter because they can't pronounce it in, Eng in Danish because they're English. Which is fair, I guess. Um, so I went for a first name that no one can pronounce, just to be annoying. Um, it's not entirely true. Um, I'm changing, I had changed my first name to Isar. Now what the fuck is that? Um, it's a river in Germany and it's also an ancient Germanic word for iron. Um, the reason for the river is because I really like that river. It's a place where I made some rather large, rather rather epic life decisions sitting on the banks of that river after having been stabbed a lot with needles by Gerard Wiesbeck getting a lot of tattooing and trying to you know just contemplate life and I sat on the banks of this river and I really like the sound of the name of it and then I found out what it means and it just it links in very well with what I do you use iron to make black and you use iron to make other things but it's a malleable material you can use it to create tools and you can really melt it and do other things and as life goes by I've come to realize that while we set out on a path and we try to be very focused on it we always end up changing and reforming. I, I mean I used to do special effects for a living and then that somehow became a tattooist and that somehow has become a book publisher, an author. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore um, but I'm definitely even though I feel like I am quite bullheaded and sturdy in my ways I'm quite malleable. Um, I don't like to be too bendy, so iron it is, Isar it is. So that leaves my name to be, I guess, Isar, Peter, Oakmond, Madsen, in whatever order. In some countries you can only have one last name, in other countries you can have a double barrel last name, and in other countries you can have several last names. Um, and I actually don't know what the fuck the rule is here and don't really give much shit. Now, I don't get offended if people use the wrong name. Um, it's not that important to me. It was just important to me to own who the fuck I am. I don't expect my parents to change uh, how they address me 
or friends and family, but I appreciate it when people do. Um, and I don't find it to be flimsy or weird to be changing my name to whatever the fuck I want, even though I am the kind of person that once complained whenever my friends would change their names because my autistic brain finds it really difficult to change what I address people as. So I am here to annoy people by doing that. Now to the fun part of the story. Coffee first. Ah. Oh. Blessed be the black bean juice. Um, about six years ago, six, seven years ago, some malignant fucking weirdo in Denmark, with whom I share first and last name, decided to do something quite horrible. And it's a problem because my name in Denmark is very, my former name in Denmark is very common. Uh, there used to be like 19,700 people named Peter Madsen, and then lots of variations, middle names, German, right? Um, guy I share my name with, there's, there's two famous people that I share my name with, uh, Peter Madsen, the comic book artist who wrote the Valhalla comics, amazing artist, amazing guy. And then the other Peter Madsen, Madsen. rocket scientist, um, Bond villain all over, has his own submarine, had his own submarine. And this is where some bells might start ringing in your heads, because you might have heard about this. So he went a-sailing in his submarine with a Swedish journalist that he found to be apparently arousing. And... Now when this happened, shit got fucking weird. Because when people googled Peter Madsen, guess who the fuck came up? This moron, right? So, because I was adequately famous at the time, my name would ping. So I started receiving hate mail, hate letters, and phone calls, and messages on Instagram and shit like that from people who thought I was him, telling me that I was horrible, and I should be murdered and shot into the moon and stuff like that. Like lots of wonderful things having to disclaim that all the time and explain who the fuck I was, that I was not in prison like he was, that I had not murdered uh, anyone, and that I had in fact just um, tattooed someone and did not generally um, you know, uh, <laughs> sail about in my submarine. Just overall, a lot of weird explanations had to go on from there. Uh, there was even a Brazilian private investigator trying to become a, a detective for the police in Brazil who wrote me uh, to ask me questions because he wanted to learn about the mindset of a murderer. I told him to quit his career because he was clearly not very good at that fucking job. And then there was the crazy Danish lady who insisted that I was him. Um, and she very much stalked me. She called me, she wrote me, she emailed me, she did everything trying to get to me and tell me to stay far away from her and her daughter, which is very weird. I, I had no idea who she was, but she kept telling me to stay away and contacted me in different ways, and it ended up with me having to contact the Danish police to get them to politely have a chat with her because it was getting really uncomfortable. I could not get rid of the lady. And so, uh, so I grew really tired of my fucking name, because it was tied in with this uh, absolute fuckwit. And I just decided that um, this, is, this can't continue. And as life has gone by, on occasion someone will be like, Oh, that's funny, I've heard that name before. And like, ah, oh, just, it's not, it's not good. And as I've never really identified much with my name, I figured, why the fuck not? Why not just change it? And so here we are, many years later, in grey northeast England, where I have, by luck, chance, and love, managed to change my last name, and by random decisions, decided to change my first name as well. So yeah, that about sums it up. Weird story, isn't it? Um, so here's a lesson for you. Don't share your name with psychotic scientist Bond villain murderers. Zoom in on me. It's like I'm all cheerful in the back. <laughs> sure. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. It's because I said love. You cutie. The wife in question.